Hey folks, let's go ahead and talk about uh, Windows Media Files. Now, um, you'll see I can't open this with uh, QuickTime. I'm going to try and open this with Handbrake, but you'll get an error. I'm not sure why it w you can't open the file this way, but I just wanted to show you this so if you, you do it, you won't be angry. It won't open it. And it says doesn't read Windows Media Format, but if you actually come in here and try to open that same file, if I can find it, here it is, it opens it. And then you can just switch to MP4 if you have, uh, you know, the right codecs on your system. Keep the same frame rate. If you think it's going to be a big file, turn on large file. Uh, and then just export. Okay, now you'll see that uh, files on our desktop open with. And we'll even use the... Uh, regular old quick time all right so there we go it's, and uh, you can see it converted to mp4 h264 alrighty now <clears throat> that's one way to do it now let's see if I can put these uh, components back without when or uh, Quick time crash in here. Restart this. Go back to our test file. Open with Quick Time. All right. Now what I what I put back in the QuickTime library was the flip format components. Okay, now one thing you can do with the uh, flip format components that you can't do with Handbrake is export out in AIC format or Apple's intermediate codec. Look at our settings here. Now the uh, intermediate codec is what iMovie uses by default, so this is usually, um, you know, the format you'd like to go to if you can. Um, let's go ahead and use 720p because that's the projects I usually use. And you see it already changed our dimensions for us and it's the uh, correctly formatted the uh, audio. Uh, we don't need that though. Save that to the desktop. Okay, and that's complete with our Windows Movie export. Let's open our output files here. Oops. So we have that one and this one. Now you see the uh, 720p is already correctly sized. I'm shrinking it in half just so we can see it. Um, make it even here. Now, I always show this because I think it's important just so you can compare the exports. If you have QuickTime Player 7, you can play both these files at once. And then, you know, kind of look at each one and, and see which one looks better. And, you know, maybe you have to change your encoding around a little bit or, or tweak the... Uh, tweak the export settings to get it lighter or darker or whatever it is you need to do. Okay, and now that we have um, 
those two files, we can import either one of them. Oh, actually, I actually almost forgot to show you this. Um, if you have the Flip for Mac component, you can actually just, you know, import that right here from uh, iMovie. You don't have to do any type of conversion whatsoever, um, which is why I kind of recommend it, because it just makes it that easy. I'll take another file just to show you. And there you have it. That that Windows file imported too. Yep, it's that easy. As always, thanks for watching.